We are uh, hanging out with Didi Ntle Kuno. She's starting her day on 959. Young madam, you are absolutely insanely talented. Yeah. Thank you. You are insanely <laughs> talented. So you ride horses, you do voiceover work, <laughs> you do... Jitsu, what's it? Jitsu, jitsu, jitsu. 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 Play piano, play piano. I'm so surprised. The first thing that came up was ride horses. Oh, I'm like, okay, okay, but yeah. yeah. Okay, do you not ride horses? <laughs> I do, <Exactly>. definitely. <laughs> we know these things. We know these things. We come into these things like fully, fully, fully loaded. Yeah. So there's something we want you guys to listen to to give you an idea of what we say when, what we mean when we say she is absolutely talented, right? You have to listen to this. Just please kill the it's music. Gonna blow you away. Like <laughs> literally raise the volume. It's unbelievable that one human being, it's so, it's psychotic actually. That one human being. You can switch like this. <laughs> it's that scary. It's, it's it's she's scary. so good at this. It's scary. It's scary. Guys, she, now literally, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> you only imagine this when you only tap into how weird and crazily talented and insanely talented this is when you're watching an animated movie. Oh, okay. And to actually <laughs> watch her do it and listen to her do it yeah, and know that she's our sibling from the, from the mother of South African soil, it's insane. <laughs> listen. Oh, little old me, it would be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing the elephant sound. Listen it up. Why can't I get this right? The trees are like statues, but their leaves still move, just like my trunk. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah. Ooh. I can't get it right. How low can you go? How low can you go? Hey! Okay. Remember, you say your line after I say, Oh no! The cookie is! You're so brave! It's actually small next to me! Oh! <laughs> um, sure! <laughs> Too. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, I'm sure. My God, giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> I know we still have kids listening right now. I know we do. And I want you parents to please hand over the phone to your kids so they can send us those voice so notes. So they can shout out. How did that make you feel knowing yeah. that this human being <laughs> sitting next to us made all those voices? All those voices. The elephant. Yes. The little baby. Yes. The adult. Yes. And everything else in between. And everything else in between. All came from you. We have to post it on our 959 um, underscore yes, that Instagram page. It. That we elephant trumpeting. Like, I always thought it's a sound effect. <laughs> That's insane. That's... You just did that. <laughs> yeah, you just did that. Yeah. Um, voice acting, yeah. I definitely got to train for it um, in Varsity and also uh, with Stephen Feinstein at an Indigo View Actors Academy. So, yeah. You actually went out of your way to, went to go train for voice acting. Yeah. What was it I that think, inspired the thought? I think it was the fact that, okay, growing up, I did watch a lot of entertainment and cartoons and yeah. TV and I was inspired to act. But I'm also with my production company I'm working on creating uh, an animation yeah and I came up with all of these little characters they're little animals and I think that's how it started um, coming up with this story this African story of these animals living yeah. in South Africa but then being personifications of African people oh, you do quite like animals I mean you're, you're draped in leopard print I am draped in leopard draped print draped in leopard print absolutely so let's talk about your hobbies yeah. so those voice notes please just tell her how good she was if there's any kids listening that heard that my 959 breakfast champs you have to tell her how amazing that was because I'm still in disbelief <laughs> I'm like literally you. feeling like my kids right now when uh, they're watching animated stuff yay 
<laughs> that I'm knee so jerk glad. reaction. That's so fulfilling to Yeah, it's hear. amazing. It's absolutely Thank amazing. You. Your hobbies, piano, is that something you just enjoy or you're into it? Are you like. Yeah, so I do play the piano and I sing. I'm actually working on creating an album. Really? Yeah. Can we hear those chords? The chords? Are you ready? Is it too <laughs> early in the morning to ask for it? I mean, we could. What do you want me to sing? Anything. We can kill the music. Or, do you want to kill the music? Yes, we're going to kill the music. You don't so want to give me sing. a beat to drop on? Ah. Want a beat? Wow. Just a beat? Just a beat. Chris, do we have? Chris, do we have a beat? <laughs> Not too sure, not too sure. Chris never misses a beat. There you this go. is a beat. Ah, ah. Ah. Oh, okay. This is a very nice beat. Okay, okay. Ah! Us chicks can rap, boys, that is a fact. You be sending my toe, but not knowing how to react. You be ripped off and stacked at the very, very back. You lack to prove yourself at the point of impact. Contact Ooh, Jarul or someone, they proficient at that. Okay, that was me rapping. Wow. Now sing. <laughs> now sing. <laughs> Yo, multi-talented. She's good. She's good. She's good. She's good. Oh, my gosh. Are you putting under pressure? Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The pressure's high. The pressure's high. The pressure's high. So we don't have a pole, but we'd like to see you strut your stuff because you're into pole dancing. Yeah, I Sasa heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Listen to him. He's like, I heard about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you know, I practice and I think it's very important as an actor to just build on your skill set and to have a variety of skills because you never know what kind of role you're going to be asked yeah. to play. Yeah. So, yeah, you should be able to just do as many things as you possibly can. I mean, I know you've won an award for theater and I believe you're now going to be in your first pantomime and play for kids Yay. and you'll be playing Snow White. Yes, I'll be playing Snow White. That's like the aerial thing, It's right? like the aerial yeah, thing. Yeah, Snow White has been white all these years, Aerial has been white, white all these years. Now yeah. we're now black, brown. Black and white. Black. I love it. I love it, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm definitely excited for that. It's my first pantomime and it links very Congrats. well with my I like my skill set of you know voice acting. I can't yes. wait to dive into a whole pantomime fairy tale character and just bring this character to life and bring the magic and the joy that comes with pantomimes. And I'm specifically excited for this pantomime this year. Yeah. Um, not because it's in festive the festive season, but because it's mm. just. It's like a mega mix of all the five pantomimes that have happened at the Joburg Theatre. Oh, wow, that's So big. it's like wow. Jack in the Beanstalk, and the beanstalk. Uh, Snow, Snow White, um, Liman Khabe. Kind of gets a fizzle. Gets a thing. Aladdin. Aladdin, definitely. Aurora, meaning okay, Sleeping Aurora, Beauty. Okay, Aurora, I forgot. Yeah, oh, Sleeping Beauty. Yes, 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 yes. So yes, it's yes, like, yes. A, it's actually oh. such a huge production um, and it's going to be so great for everybody in the family to come and watch yeah. well just in case you're wondering who truly this is you have seen her on Isono this is a show on BET with um, Mum Tati Moshesh which we hung out with not so long ago mm -hmm. and uh, you played a, a role uh, that you were really dying to play I'm told yeah. Isono, yeah. Yeah. So uh, the role was uh, Esther in yeah. Isono. That's Osin Tati's um, daughter, daughter in the yeah. show, who was like a drug addict and in the music industry and yeah. was just like going through the motions. Yeah. <laughs> so that was fun because there was a lot of emotional digging that I got to do. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're still hanging out with her. She's starting her day on 959. Thank you too for starting your day on 959. It's 22 after 7. So when you were telling us about the character that you played on Isono, which is uh, Osin uh, daughter, who was pretty much a druggy, broken, and all of that, going yeah. through the motions of, mm. how old is she? Is she a teenager? No, the character. She, the character was probably like in her early 20s. In her early Jeez. 20s. So like literally a young adult. Did you not feel like somewhat a Zendaya in Euphoria? Yeah, I mean, that's deep. Though. There were so that's... many. Yeah, there were so many scenes where they kind of pushed the narrative. Yeah. To so, sort of showcase that level of grit. Well, I like that about BET yeah. actually. Mm. If, if there's one thing I do know about BET and their scripting, right? They definitely do push boundaries mm. with their drama series. Yeah, they definitely want to go riveting. against the grit. Yeah, mm. against the mm. grit. Yeah. What was the character addicted to? She was addicted to coke. Jeez, the irony! Addicted. And now you're playing Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, my oh, wow, 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 wow. Hectic stuff. Um, your show, Snow White, 
Yes. You said it's in the festive season. Yes. Right? On which day exactly and how long does it run for? So the show runs from the 4th of November all the way to the 24th of December. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 4th I'm, of November? To the 24th of December, ah, yes. A day before my son's birthday. Your He's son on was the fifth. On the 5th of on November. Oh. That's, my sister. That's my sister's really? birthday. Your brother is Saul's friend and your sister is my, shares a birthday world, with right? my son. Oh my God. And my brother's oh my born God. on the 8th of November and I'm born on the 14th of November. Oh my God. Scorpio. Oh my God. Scorpio. Oh my God. I'm loving it. Absolutely <laughs> loving it. Absolutely loving it. 25 after 7. She's really a cute somebody. You look really cute. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you look really <laughs> cute. You know, like you're so multi-talented, multifaceted, and you've got all these layers. Like, is there a particular role that you're dying to play, you know, that will bring out a lot of your your, your, your talents and, 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 and different sides of you? Mm, in the beginning, I wanted to play Celie in The Color Purple, which I got which to you play. Did. You did. Which I got to play. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, there's no specific role that I would say I want to play. I just want to... I just want to play something that puts the African narrative in focus Mm -hmm. in an empowering and enlightening way and the African woman in focus. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess I would love to work with Oprah Winfrey one day. Like I'd love to be on something she's produced or something. Yeah, she's a good producer. Yeah. Very soulful. Very Very soulful. Very intentional and purposeful producer. Very purposeful. Yeah. 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 I like that. I like that a lot. Here's some voice notes from the kids. I'm excited about that. Oh, when they heard her animation. Oh, voice over work. That was wonderful. I'm Zoe Georgia Tiseko. I am nine years old and the elephant sound was amazing. Hello, Dean K. The way you made those sound effects sounds like you you kinda get powers from God. But then yeah. it, it's like you put an entire elephant inside the studio. It's crazy. Aww. It's absolutely... You're talented. Thank you so much, guys. There's a lot people can take away from human beings, Mm. right? People can attempt to take away your freedom of speech. They can Mm. attempt to take away your human rights. They can Mm. attempt to infringe you in certain ways Mm. and and and. There's one thing people can never take away, and that's talent. Ever. That's talent. Mm. Never. But people can talent, debate around yes. your name till Timbuktu Two. till they turn but blue. But if you're talented, that that's something they can never take away from you. Mm-hmm. But on top of talent, you have to work hard. Absolutely. You have to invest in your yourself, Absolutely. invest in your skill set, and you have to have a supportive, strong team and foundation and then the talent can just soar and 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 wow. you give p- people the permission to to allow themselves to soar and to shine yeah. but yes no one can take away your talent but on top of the talent you work you hard you have to work you have yes. to work yes. it's that 80 20 rule right yeah you could be 80 percent talented but if you don't give that 20 percent of commitment oh definitely. professional work mm. ethic the talented the talent is as good as it's no as currency. Go- yes, yes, it's yes. As good as no currency. But exactly. I like that. How old are you now? 30. Are you 30? Jeez. I'm turning 30. Oh my God. 30 and you... And I know I don't look like it, right? No. You don't look a day over 18. I'm telling you now. No, not 18. I'm telling you now. Not 18. Well, I'm looking no. at you as a casting director. Yeah. I could cast you no day over 18. Yeah. Okay. Hint, no hint, hint casting over directors. Yeah. Hint, you hint, nudge, roles. nudge. 30 yeah. and you've won awards. I mean, you won the Naledi Theatre Award for your role as Celie in The Colour Purple, yes, right? Yes, nominated twice yeah. this year for two Naledi Awards. Well and you are the first and only African performer to actually play this lead. Yeah. Is, is theatre like your main thing? Is that where you come alive with all your talents? I mean, it began as the main thing because that's how I trained as an yeah. actor. I trained, yeah. you know, at Vitz University. Yes. You do the Gibson Kenta a... sort of acting. That's like very like heightened. Both. I've been both, trained to both. do both. Yeah. And both yeah. are very important. Like, for example, the pantomime. The pantomime is an example of heightened, magical, yeah. fantastical. Yeah. And yeah, I'll be able to tap into that. That big yeah. scale, yeah. passion, yeah. rage, okay. wow, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. It's wild. Wild. She good. She good. She's Yo, very, she's very, very good. Hey, listen, you are an absolute bundle of joy. Thank you so much for starting your day on 959. Thanks for having me. Guys. And you know what? Everything makes sense since you mentioned your age. It all comes full circle. Mm, mm. In what right? sense? How so? Well, I think when you turn 30, everything that you have invested and plowed in yourself starts to really realize you know mm. your maturation meets the maturation mm. that the universe has been orchestrating around your attempts at growing yourself oh no definitely. so then it all comes full circle it and does all come all the full accolades circle. well deserved mm. everything that you're doing right now your production company and everything yes just thank, you so you. thank you it thank looks good you on so much thank you thank you so much all righty enjoy the rest of your day enjoy the rest of your days guys thank we'll you do. i can't <laughs> wait you. to see your talent and your yeah. career just blossom and take over the world keep going thank you guys um, Gosh, Thank her name you. is Didn't Le Kuno. You That's know a, what you, you know, know what time it is. You know, you know, know what time it is. <laughs>